an athlete representing the Netherlands now for a handful of seasons. And of only a couple of men who've qualified for each of the last four Olympic sprint finals. I'm talking about the ones and the twos at the last two games. I've been very impressed um, with uh, Harvey of Turkey this season. Very, very impressed indeed. Yes, uh, Jack Harvey we used to refer to him as. He's now Jack Ali Harvey. He was Jack when he was in Jamaica. He ran 9.92 very recently. It's a man who's benefited from his shift to Turkey and uh, who knows, may well be another medalist from that nation. There is uh, Martina. He's now 32. The recent history books of sprinting record that 30 is not a time for sprinters to hang up their spikes. This man very much at the other end of his career. European junior champion last year, Ogier de Buren. Just 20. That's Stuart Dutambi of France. Here is the uh, former Jacques Harvey, now Jack Ali Harvey. 9.92 this winter. The 18-year-old, Filippo Tortu. Remy Olszewski of Poland is on the outside. So that's the man to watch there, Harvey. The only athlete in this field inside 10 seconds this season. He may even prove to be the main threat to Jimmy Vico. What an experience for the Britain, OG Edeburen, four from the right. European junior champion last year, now in a European senior semi-final. Harvey, free from the left, slow to rise from the blocks, but I tell you what, incredibly quick out of them, and he's leading, and he's striding well clear, he's Harvey, and he's looking across. Martina came through in second. It may well have been Edeburen who came through in third. 10-0-4. Yes, there's no doubt this man is the threat to Jimmy Vico. 10-0-4. Martina confirmed that's what the roar is for. 10-16. Tortu, the Italian, would appear to be given third spot. 10-19. Edinburgh and fourth, just one one hundredth behind. So, well, in terms of qualifying for the final, that is... Uh, Actually, the irrelevance because it's still the third and fourth men from that first seat who are the fastest losers. In Great Britain, second in that first semi final of the 100 metres. James, you're really getting the hang of this 100 metres now, it seems. Yeah, I'm piecing it together. Uh, I've always kind of dabbled in it at the beginning of the seasons and that, but this year I've kind of stuck with it and it's, and it's paying off. Personal best, running toe to toe with the favourite. Yeah, I mean, I always knew that um, my start's a weak point. And uh, I mean, he, I didn't really get out there either, to be honest. I felt like my pickup's really strong, and that's probably come from my uh, 200 meter strength over the years. So, if I can nail a start in the final, there's no reason why I can't beat Jimmy. Sub 10, wind assisted in Birmingham. Sub 10 legal, hopefully, here. Oh, that's the plan. Cheers, appreciate it. Yes, the uh, 10 second barrier means so much to these sprinters. That's what really takes them into the world-class bracket. 